Um, so, our galaxy formed out of many small galaxies, but we do have big galaxies not very far away. So about two million light years from the Milky Way is um, the Andromeda galaxy. And um, it's coming towards us. So someday in the future, there'll be a collision between two galaxies. Let me remind you, a galaxy is a collection of 100 billion stars. So these are massive systems, but of course they're all space. It's a bit like ghosts colliding, because a galaxy is you know, lots of stars, but there's all the spaces between the stars. And so, it's, so galaxies can collide and pass through each other. But in so doing, their gravity fields will tend to distort them. There, there'll be these tidal forces that pull them, tend to pull them apart. But if they're big galaxies, they won't get pulled apart. Okay, so let me then tell you about now how we look at big galaxies and um, look at possible collisions. So first of all, let's begin with the computer. So um, this is a simulation, a numerical simulation on a big supercomputer, showing you what happens when two galaxies come together and they form this, this sort of mess of stars, okay? And they leave these, these long trails behind. These are called tidal tails, which are pulled out by gravity, basically, as the, as the centers come together. They, the, the gravity fields stretch out these, uh, these regions behind them. Okay, um, so that's the sort of thing we expect. Now, let me take you to um, one of the most um, impressive telescopes that we've ever constructed in space, called the Hubble Space Telescope. We're gonna show you some images of collisions between galaxies. Okay, so does this really happen? So um, here's a, a beautiful example. Um, so these galaxies are at the same distance. You can see they're beginning to be affected by this encounter. Okay, um, and this this uh, and in, in the future these two will spiral together and form um, a big mess like you saw in that simulation. Um, okay, so and we have a number of examples like this. Here's another one. Okay, so here's a, a galaxy actually in the process of merging with this galaxy. This is a beautiful space telescope image. These, these are regions of star formation. And this coming together of the galaxies is believed to enhance, to create lots more stars. This is the region between them that's being compressed by the effects of gravity and being drawn out as this thing approaches and, and orbits around the galaxy um, and eventually falls into the bigger one. Okay, getting a bit closer. Here's another example. Um, where the two galaxies of, you know, not such dissimilar size are in the process of coming together. Um, and uh, so these are beautiful phenomena that we see in the sky, and it's quite likely that's the future of our Milky Way, because Andromeda is going to come towards us in a, you know, it's a long way off, but that'll happen in some, you know, tens of millions of years or whatever, hundreds of, hundreds of millions of years, I should say, in the distant future. But nevertheless, that, that, that may await us. But, but it's interesting to stare around our neighboring galaxies and see examples of, of the future, as it were. Okay. Um, and here maybe is the most dramatic case. Um, so th this is, these are called the antennae, these galaxies. Uh, it's just a nickname being given by astronomers, and these really are very actively coming together. And this process of merging is compressing the gas clouds and making lots and lots of stars. So th this is a, a gigantic collision. Uh, imagine, you know, cars colliding on your motorway, right? That's on scales of miles. Now we're looking at, you know, millions of light years, right? But, or uh, several hundred thousand light years, at least from here to here. And, um, and we see collisions, uh, destructive collisions, but also creative collisions, because you're not, for the small things, you were destroying them. But in this case, probably you're actually bringing the clouds together and making lots and lots more stars. So this is a, this is a creative process, too, in the cosmic scheme of things. That's what makes it sort of exciting.